To complete the lab um, for Chapter 2, Lab 3, Expand Your World, Cloud and Web Technologies, you are going to be using the Excel Online app instead of Excel 2013. This is a great feature of Office 365, which hopefully you have all downloaded now, um, in that you can work in Excel, Word, PowerPoint from anywhere as long as you have internet access online, even if the computer that you're on does not have um, Office 2013. Now you'll see that you won't have all the options that you have in the real application, but if you just need to make a basic spreadsheet or a basic document, this is a great option for you. Also, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, your OneDrive, which is what we're going to be using, files will sync back to your computer. So if I open up File Explorer on my computer, you can see that I have a whole section called OneDrive and inside of OneDrive are lots of files and folders. So to sign in from OneDrive on the web you will visit OneDrive.com and you can either sign in using your student email address and password or you can click sign up and create an account using a personal email address or password. I would probably recommend using a personal one, creating your own account that way, so that you'll have access to this even when you're not a student here at CCC, but it is completely up to you. So I'm going to sign into my account, and you can see that once I am signed into my account, I have these same folders online in the browser that I had on my computer. But not only do files sync so I can view them here, I can also click Create, which is what you are going to do, and I can create new folders or documents or workbooks. So for this assignment, you're going to click Create and choose to create a new Excel workbook. And you can see that when I create a new Excel workbook, it looks pretty familiar when it opens up. I do have the ribbon, and I have lots of options, but you will notice that I don't have all the same options that I have um, in the real Excel app which is fine for what I need to do for this assignment. For this assignment, you're just going to create a blank workbook, and in the first worksheet, you're going to use row headings for each year of college. So for my rows, I'm going to label them freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. And then for column um, headings, you're going to use your current expenses. So think about what expenses you have now as a college student. Um, maybe you have tuition, Maybe you have textbook fees, maybe you have a car payment, maybe you have rent, totally up to you. And then you're going to just enter estimates for each year based on estimates that you find searching the web. So just go to a web browser and Google something like college expenses. See what you find out there when you do a little bit of research and fill in what you find. And then you're going to use a formula to find the total for each column. You're also going to include the highest and the lowest and the average values. So I should see the min, max, and average functions used as well. When you are finished with your spreadsheet and everyone's is going to look different, you just want to make sure that you include the things that it's asking for. You're going to simply click File. You're going to click Share to share with people and get a link. You can either do an edit or view only link, it does not matter to me, and click create link. Once you click create link, a link will be created for you. You are simply going to copy this link, go back to the Blackboard submission area, click on this assignment, and in the assignment submission box, you're going to paste in that link and submit the link to me. That gives me access to your spreadsheet in OneDrive.